Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Jerusalem Steph, and I'm gonna be doing a QA about me. So the first question we have, um, I'm literally just doing this off the dome because I'm that girl very much. Um, the first question is how old are you? So I'm 16. Um, when's your birthday? My birthday is July 4th. Yes, my birthday is a holiday. And yes, the next question is what is your sign? I'm a cancer body built like a dancer. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> so yeah, that's my sign. I'm a cancer. Um, yeah, I don't really know. I don't know like the rising and all that. I don't know all that, but I know I'm a cancer and we're super emotional, which is so true. I'm literally a crybaby. I cry about everything and I'm in path too. But I'm not watching is what year are you going to school? So I'm in my senior year of high school. Yeah, your girl is a senior period and I'm in my freshman year of college because I'm dual enrolled. Um, how did you become dual enrolled? Um, this is a question that people ask me so much. I'm going to explain it. There's a program where homeschoolers or people in literal like physical high school can get enrolled into college and the JCO the junior college that I'm at right now it's a community college so you can just enroll and as long as you have time and you're intelligent enough to get the work done they'll let you go in and just sign the paperwork and bam you can take college classes and they're at a discounted price because um, I think college credits each credit, I'm not sure about like the credit, how much each credit is, but I know sometimes it can be like upwards of like $300, so it is kind of costly. This one, you get a very discounted price, so you can finish college at a discount to your parents, especially if your parents are paying, they get to pay less money, and you get to finish early. So basically, I'll be finishing technically two years early, earlier than I was supposed to finish if I was to go the traditional route so I mean it's just pretty much a win-win for me um it's not for everybody I would not suggest it for everybody a lot of people would not enjoy it and for all those people who are like oh you must be really smart um I wouldn't consider myself that smart but you do have to at least be able to like have a certain level of skills to take college classes I definitely wouldn't suggest it for certain people who just don't want to put in that extra work and don't want to like spend time asking the professors questions and stuff like that so that's how I got into it and that's what I'm doing and that's the explanation <clears throat> the next question is do you have any siblings I have one brother he's older than me he is turning 22 this year and yeah we're four years and ten months apart basically five years apart um yeah, I don't have any younger siblings, unfortunately, but so I'm pretty much like the only child now because my brother doesn't live with me, but it is what it is. Okay, what's my favorite color? My favorite color is lavender. Literally, I love lavender. Like, it's such a pretty color. It's like, and also the scent is supposed to be like calming and peaceful, so I love that. Um, what does your name mean? My name means peace or city of peace. That's what my name means. People ask me that all the time. Um, how did you come up with your YouTube name? Um, I didn't really come up with it. It's just my name and my middle name. <laughs> so it's not like anything too difficult. I originally had, a, funny enough, I originally had a different name, but I changed it because I just didn't like branding myself as something that's not my name. Because the first, peop thing, the first thing people see is your name, so I wanted my name to be attached to my channel. And, just to, and I didn't really want to just do my first name. Um, cause I feel like people are going to get it confused with like some religious organization or something. I don't know, which I'm sure people probably still do get it confused with that. It's not a church. <laughs> and I don't want people to be confused maybe when they come across it. What major are you going into in college? I'm going into, um, construction management. I chose that because my father's in construction management and he has been for years. Pretty much everybody I know is in construction management in some way, shape or form. And I grew around the grew up around the construction trades, and um, so yeah, that's basically why I'm going into it. And also, you make a ton of money, and it's like pretty much guaranteed that I'm getting a job. Um, so, it just seems like the right choice for me. <laughs> um, what university do you plan on going to? I really want to go to Howard University, um, but I do. I think I probably will go to a university in my area, state, just because they have my degree program. Um, I'm not how. I'm not like 100% certain I want to do that because just like being away from my parents 
But I mean, by that time, I'll be 18, and it's kind of like you're gonna have to not be with your parents and stuff like that. So, um, that's probably what I'm gonna end up doing. I don't know. I mean, obviously, stay tuned to the channel to see where I end up going. Um, but I have that's not until another year that I really need to like finalize my decisions on that, so I'm not too concerned about it. Um, right now, I'm just gonna try to get through what well, I'm gonna get through this next um, year, and then that's when I get my associate's degree, and then I'll decide where I'm gonna go to get my bachelor's degree. <clears throat> Um, how many kids do you want? This is such a weird question. I don't know why. How many kids do you want? I want five kids and that's too funny. I can't. <clears throat> okay, so the next question is what do I like to do for fun? I mean recently, um I mean I can crochet which is basically knitting. It's not the same thing, it's a different but it's basically knitting, I guess. Um, I enjoy reading. Um, I enjoy editing somewhat like it's it's time consuming but i do enjoy it um i like skating roller skating i can roller in ice but i prefer roller skating because it's definitely a lot less scary and if you fall it doesn't hurt as bad um yeah so those are some hobbies that i have i don't i wouldn't really call them hobbies because like i said i really don't do them with any consistent basis like i'm not into sports this is a good question how tall are you i'm um five how tall really am i okay so i'm five seven and i think i'm like five seven and two fours but i really just say five eight i really just i typically i think i typically say i'm five seven but only because and the reason why i say i'm five seven is because i feel like when i stand next to people that are five eight i'm not five eight but i'm not five seven and then when I'm saying people that are 5'7", like, they're always shorter than I am. So I'm probably, like, 5'8". Oh, do I have any sit hidden talent? Oh, that's a good question. Do I have any hidden talent? Um, yes. I'm a foot model. <laughs> no, but <laughs> I can't. No, I can sing. That's my only hidden talent. I don't really know if that's a hidden talent because I sing a ton. So it's not really necessarily hidden. Yes, I finally got a feeling that I'm off of you. Never going back, never going back. No, you can't take me. Never going back, never going back. No, you can't make me. I don't, it's only hidden to people who just don't spend time with me. Like, if you spend any amount of time with me, you'll hear me singing within like an hour of us spending time together because I sing all the time. And sometimes I sing low, so you can't really, like, you won't be able to hear me unless I'm like, unless you're like really paying attention. But I feel like most people know that if they spent in person time with me. So, yeah. Okay, so the question was, um, why did you start this channel? So the reason why I started this channel was because I'm trying to really remember why I started it. So I see a lot of content creators, but I rarely see like homeschool people. I rarely see people of darker complexions. I rarely see people who just like are normal. Like they're not, um, I don't know, like super pretty. Like I always like the type of YouTubers I see are like light skinned pretty girls, which is fine, I guess. But I feel like by making this channel and doing well it'll give more motivation to people who aren't that stereotype because primarily that's who i see um i don't really see like a lot of just like normal regular teens who are just like regular like they're not really pretty they're not like doing really well on social media before the channel any of that stuff like they're just really regular like most people who start their channel they're like three million on tiktok this that like <laughs> they have like a ton of friends i have like no friends that's not entirely true but i have like very little friends and i just feel like you know i'm giving and like a lot of people have are really into sports are really yeah mostly really into like a certain sport and that's how you know they started making videos based on like that sport so i feel like this will be good for people who are just regular and also i just enjoy like when i first edited my first video i was like literally crying because i was like oh my gosh like i can actually edit it's just nice to have something to do that's not schoolwork um that requires nobody else like nobody has to take me anywhere to do anything i just make my videos upload them and it's really just nice to see the end result um of the video like i was looking today and like i made some thumbnails for my upcoming videos and i'm just looking like i already have the next like four videos planned out i have the thumbnails um three of them are fully edited and then the other one needs to be edited i'm gonna edit that 
um, probably tomorrow or the day after. But I just, I don't know, I just really enjoy just having like an end result, seeing my thoughts come to reality. Okay, so this is a quick question. Well, this, I'm going to make it quick. Um, your opinion on being homeschooled and how you feel about this. People ask me this question so much. Um, my opinion on being homeschooled is it's great if that's what you want to do, but it's not gonna if it's not what you want to do, you're not gonna be happy, and it's not for everybody. And so many people are like, oh, I want to be homeschooled because you can just like sit at home, and it's not, it's not what people think it is because I feel like people think it's like okay, you just sit at home, you can wake up at any time, you can just do your work at any time. It's kind of like not that. <laughs> Definitely, especially since, especially when I was younger, it definitely was not that. I had a very strict regiment, regiment on what I was doing. It wasn't until I got older, like within the last year, that I can pretty much just like, I just make sure I get my work done and I'm fine. But even that, it's not really all that it's cracked up to be. It's a lot of downsides. The biggest downside is just you don't spend time with anybody. You just spend time in the house, which I thoroughly regret rushing through high school to get through college because now it's like I have no memories to look back on <laughs> like I have like five memories like literally like I have maybe ten memories of things that I did and most of the memories aren't even things I did with my friends they're things I did with my parents which is fine and that's great and that's well I did a lot of fun things but definitely wish I would have had like prom and like homecoming and all of those things that people have but so it definitely sucks so I'm by no means a poster boy for telling people to be homeschooled and parents always ask me like oh my god would you suggest being homeschooled to my kid no I wouldn't suggest it to be honest with you people are not people don't really want to homeschool their kids but people think they want to but it's not as easy you can't just put your kid on an online program and just be like okay do that it's not one of those things unless your child is older especially like if your child is under like 15 no you should probably keep them in school unless you have like a, enough time to go out and make sure that they're getting the education that they need to be getting because otherwise your child is going to be lacking. And also just, you have to, if you're going to homeschool your kids, you have to make sure you have time for them to socialize outside of school because otherwise they're going to be lacking social, socially. Like I've seen a lot of homeschoolers, like they're really smart, but their social like cues and their ability to like function in a social settings is like on one percent and that's not good because your child can't be going to school forever they're gonna have to go if even if they don't go to college they're gonna have to get a job they're gonna have to do something around like 18 19 20 so your <laughs> your child is gonna be like really antisocial really not able to function in social settings and it's not i wouldn't suggest it if if you are concerned that that's going to happen to you or your child but for me personally i'm not i'm pretty i'm a pretty social person i mean i have i'm a little anxious and nervous but i'm just shy i'm not um but i'm definitely able to get along with people and all the different type of stuff so i don't have a problem with that you know i'm able to make friends and you know get people's numbers and chill people and I'm not like socially weird obviously I feel like if I was socially awkward it would probably come across on screen you could probably tell like this girl's a weirdo but I'm not like I'm not like um what is that like Harry Potter fan kid who just sits in her room and reads books like I'm not I can go out in the world and be you know social and be just you know like the average teen most people don't even know that I'm homeschooled until I you know say something which is good um but I will say all homeschool teens are not or all homeschool people are not socially awkward but a good amount of them are enough for it to make it seem like all of us are okay so this q a is coming to a close um i enjoy answering these questions i literally just made these questions up off the top of my head it's just like typical questions people ask to get to know somebody i didn't really feel like i should post it on my instagram and be doing all of that but y'all can go ahead and follow my instagram which i'll put right here um right here so y'all can keep up with me and so I can hit 100 followers and so I can become famous. No, but <laughs> I don't know if you're supposed to say that. But um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Go ahead and hit the like button, the subscribe button, comment um, Marshmallow if you guys made it to the end of this video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.